Hey there, everybody. Welcome to my review of the Mafex Steel. I've uh, had this figure for a while, but I've been looking forward to uh, finally getting to review it. And it's a figure that I've been waiting for for a long time. Um, Steel is a really great character, I think. I don't think he gets enough credit. He's pretty underrated in terms of DC characters. And I really would love to see him in uh, some of the new Superman movies that they got coming out. I think he's a really cool character. Um, so first off, let's look at the accessories. Um, he comes with some alternate hands and everything. Um, he's got a lot of them. He's got some grabby ones and some ones that are splayed out. Some other ones. He doesn't have any flight hands, which I thought was kind of strange for a, uh, a flying character. I thought he'd have some flight hands. He's got these alternate head sculpts that I really like. So we'll zoom in on zoom in on these head sculpts here because I really like these yeah he's got a gritting one and he's got a yelling one that I have on the figure right now but uh, yeah and then zooming back out here as you can see um, I've got him on the Mafex stand that comes with it I uh, made sure that I tightened up the screws beforehand and it works pretty well you know, I uh, I really like uh, the ex other accessories that this comes with, especially this hammer. This hammer's great, and it works really well with like his the posability of this figure. And then he's got his jetpack stuff on the bottom, or jet boots, so you, you can take those off. So um, let's get these accessories out of the way and take a look at the figure. I want to give you a close-up view of that um, other head sculpt. So let's get all these out of the way here. Oops, don't want that to... Yeah, these stands are still pretty flimsy. Even after you, uh, you know, tighten up the screws and whatnot. And then these are just detachable. They have two little things at the bottom here. You can just take off. And we'll get rid of... Uh, something I thought that was pretty good was that this comes in two pieces. So, let's see if I can... I don't want to break it. Which one is it? Um, it doesn't want to come off now, but for storage, this does come off at one of these things. Come on. Huh. Well, it doesn't want to come apart now, and I don't want to force it, but this comes apart, I think, at this one here in the middle, so that way you can store it in the package. But let's get him posed up here. Like I mentioned in my Cyborg Superman review, I really hope they redo Superman um, and have a face a little bit more like he's drawn in the 90s um, Death of Superman comics with this cape. I really like this bigger cape on Superman um, compared to the smaller one that's on the current one that they have, which I still need to buy, as I mentioned before. So let's get this zoomed in here. All right, cool. So for the details on this guy, he looks really good. Um, I really like uh, the way he looks. He's got a nice metallic sheen to him, very chrome looking. And uh, he's got like that look like that classic Iron Man where they draw the, you know, they wouldn't really draw the seams in the metal or whatever. He's just kind of, you know, it's like flexible metal or something, which is kind of funny. Um but yeah, I really like all the the details, like the rivets on his on his head and around here. Those are all really cool. I'm glad that they included those. And then you got these tubing, these flexible tubes on the side of his his leg, which I hope that those don't degrade over time. I always think about the future with these figures, and I hope that these don't degrade. But uh, yeah, it's a really good looking figure. You know, it's not the same buck as everybody else. He's pretty built and everything because I know John Henry Irons is a little bit more uh, built. Uh, he's a little bit wider, I think, than some other of uh, the characters at the time. So that's really nice. Got the same kind of cape with S on the back. Um, same one as the Cyborg Superman. And yeah, so... For articulation, it's all the basic uh, Mafex stuff. You know, just ab crunch forward, back, and side to side. It's got a belt that kind of sits loosely on here, and it's flexible, so you don't have to really worry about that getting in the way. His head looks um, up, down, side to side, you know, necks on a 
on a ball joint, which is really nice. Um, his legs are still really flexible, although I'm very careful with these tubes on here. I don't want those to get worn out and break, and you can see where they're kind of um, in the leg right there, so I don't want to mess with that. His boots don't, they're separate, but they don't, you know, twist, and you don't want to mess with that. So the articulation is a little hindered on the leg because of this, but not by too much. Um, he has ankle pivot. And then up and down, and then you have your toe articulation too. There's peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And uh, double jointed, and then up here, these uh, shoulder pads are pretty loose on here, so they don't get in the way. They're very good about moving around and everything. He's got butterfly joints still. This big metal S doesn't really hinder anything. And you can get him in all kinds of really cool poses, you know. You can see right here, these go all the way up and down. Really, really fun figure. Really enjoying having him. I'm glad that Steel has got a really a release that I think is long overdue for his character. And hopefully uh, someday we get, uh, I doubt we'll get this, but the later version that has a different helmet that's a little bit more open, I think that would be cool. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the articulation. So we'll go into... Let me get him posed up nice and straight here, and we'll get him into a size comparison. This cape takes up a lot of room, though, so let's kind of bend this back. Let me get this out of the way. So that way I can... Uh, he doesn't take up too much room. We'll zoom out here. And there we go. That should be good. Okay, so first off, let's uh, get him next to his compadre, Superman. And he's pretty tall compared to the Mezco Superman, you know. Um, I don't recall what their height difference was on the comics. I know Superman's on the taller side. Um, but, you know, it's okay. Oops, I knew that was going to happen. The capes are going to get in the way. Let's get this right here. It might also be my my table's a little there's a little bump in the middle there. So and here he is next to the cyborg Superman. He's taller than him too. So yeah, he's a pretty tall figure. It might be the legs or whatever, but overall, you know, I think he fits in well with both these guys. He looks good with the Mezco too. Um so that's good. Those are the most important ones that I want him to look good next to anyway. Alright, now let's get him next to another iron figure or metal figure there's iron man marvel legends and then we have the rival tech captain america and that's how he looks next to those he's taller than both of them but again that's okay you know he's a he's a bigger guy and i think he scales well with them as well and then lastly let's put him next to a big guy um, and see how he scales with him. So we'll do the Marvel Legends Abomination Build-A-Figure from the Avengers video game. Um, obviously, you know, way bigger. He's supposed to be even bigger than the Hulk. So he looks good next to the uh, Mafex Steel. I like the I like the height difference between those two. All right, zoom back in. So for my final thoughts, I really like this guy. I really like the articulation i think he you can get him in any pose you need him to do especially with the nice arm the flexibility on the arms you can get some really neat poses with him and that hammer and which is my one of my favorite parts of the character is him having that hammer and he's i really like these head sculpts on him i wish that they would have had an unmasked one but that's you know maybe someday we'll get something like that and i really overall like the accessories and they, you know, the hands are, some of the hands are a little unnecessary. You know, I would rather would have had a good pair of fists or a flight hands, but you know, it is what it is. I will live with it. And I think that this figure is worth it every penny. And I really like him. I think he's going to look good on my Superman display once I get that fully up and running. So anyways, guys, if you like what you see, go and hit subscribe. You can follow me on social media. The links are in the description below and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Live.
fly from the third planet from the black hole it's the astro floating through the astral plane i maintain this wisdom i'm the vassal yeah. baby i'm just burying these rappers like a time capsule let my mind travel through dimensions check this pimping i'm just trying to find a piece like all the mark